Folks, assets take holidays, liabilities don't. Have you ever heard a banker say, oh, you don't work on a Sunday, no need to pay me interest for that day? Never. And therefore, you need to sweat your assets more. I would urge you to start the process of identification of non-performing assets in your organization. Try and convert them into performing assets. And in case you can't, ensure those are essential non-performing assets. And if they are not, the earlier you get rid of them, the better. Release the money blocked into those assets. Bring that money into circulation. That single act will take your profit moving upward. The Indian machine tool industry is expected to grow at a rate of 12 to 17 percent in the next three years, as mentioned by the Ambattur Industrial Estate Manufacturers Association. The vice president of the association, P. S. Ramesh, said that they are expecting the industry to grow at a range of 14 to 15 percent of FY23. Over the previous year of 2021 to 2022, in FY22, the industry recorded revenues to tune of USD 1,249 million and exports of USD 122 million. In the export segment, there was a marginal drop in the first quarter of FY24, but the association hopes to gain in the upcoming quarter. In an event held on Thursday at Orgadam in Kanchipuram district, Chief Minister M.K. Stalin inaugurated 22 upgraded technology centers. The Tamil Nadu government has worked with Tata Technologies to transform 71 government industrial training institutes into industry 4.0 technology centers. In his address at the inaugural function, which was attended by state ministers, senior officials, and Tata Sun Group's chairman N. Chandrasekharan, the chief minister said that the initiative would make it possible for poor and rural students as well as youths in the state to receive training at a low cost and be prepared to meet the expectations of the industry. The government has planned to upgrade the ITIs at a cost of Rs 2,877.43 crore and in the first phase of 22 technology centres were upgraded at the cost of Rs 762.30 crore. Before we go ahead, let's talk about QPI, a world leading manufacturer of precision multi-sensor meteorology system for industrial quality control. 50,000 passenger flights each day depend on reliable jet engine power, something millions of passengers take for granted. Behind that reliability is some of the world's most advanced manufacturing technology. Measurement systems from QVI are part of it. The precision QVI brings to aerospace component manufacturers helps make air transportation more routine. From ensuring that thousands of parts in a jet engine deliver power when it's needed, to making sure your seatbelt stays latched for takeoff. Plastic bottles help keep us going when we're on the run. And when we put the cap back on our water bottle, we know it won't spill. When it comes to thermal molded plastics, manufacturers rely on QVI precision for fast, accurate dimensional control of their molding process. For mold makers, that precision means fast, accurate thread and seal surface measurements. For the rest of us, precision means longer shelf life and fewer spills from bottled drinks. Safety, reliability, and fuel economy are factors we take for granted every time we drive, yet all depend on thousands of close tolerance parts assembled perfectly. Automotive manufacturers rely on precision measurements at dozens of points in the making of every part, from cylinder heads to drive shafts to anti-lock brakes. More often than not, they turn to QVI for flexible measuring systems that perform day in and day out, right on the shop floor. 
Just a few years ago, prosthetic joints were largely a dream. Today, they're a common way to renew mobility and extend active lives. When it comes to surgical implants and drug delivery systems, precision is everything. QVI's advanced multi-sensor technologies allow medical device manufacturers to measure critical dimensions more reliably than ever before. From a syringe that delivers the correct dose to a knee implant with a perfect fit. Precision improves the quality of care and life for patients every day. Smartphones and tablets are essential tools for staying connected in business and for life. Sleek and durable designs let us take our devices with us anywhere. Portable devices are incredibly complex to build. QVI measurement systems deliver the precision needed to fabricate circuits, etch hard disk heads, and fit touchscreen panels to the coolest phone cases. At the end of the day, QVI systems help make wireless mobile devices work on the go. Every great story has a beginning. Ours starts with people, the people who bring our precision to life, and the people whose lives are improved because of it. With more than 400 dedicated employees offering local support to manufacturers in more than 75 countries, QVI and our partners deliver precision across the entire spectrum of industry, from global manufacturers to local job shops. Precision for people is more than something we say. It's what we stand for. This World Environment Day, Rocker Automation Launch Step. Science, technology, engineering, and maths, and solar lights installation activities across India. The business will provide funding for STEM education in 12 schools, support the first Lego League and World Robotic Olympiad competitions, and put solar lights in eight schools and 100 more. A solar lighting project in schools across the Maharashtra and Uttar Pradesh was launched by Rockwell Automation with an official ceremony, a tree planting event and distribution of saplings to the kids. Government primary schools in Ghaziabad and Sridhar Rao Wapri Patil High School in Pune were two of the establishments that Rockwell Automation helped light up in honor of the World Environment Day. Additionally, the company will sponsor four schools to compete in the first FLL 2023 competition and gain 12 teams to compete in the WRO 2023. In addition, Swami Vivekananda Vidya Kendra in Bangalore has received funding to include STEM education into their curriculum. In today's fast-paced and ever-changing business environment where innovation and technology are constantly emerging, it is essential for industries and businesses to prepare our today and adapt to the evolving landscape. Our objective is to assist you in staying ahead of the curve by providing you with the latest developments and trends. Join our community to remain informed and keep pace with the changes unfolding in your industry. Coming up, we have highlights from our newly introduced column, The Big Book, where we discuss important top management movements from the industry. Flash Electronics appoints Rajnish Devan as CEO. This choice is in the line with the business's aim to quicken its rate of expansion, encourage innovation, and solidify its position as an industry leading supplier of automotive components. The Manufacturing Technology Summit is the ultimate destination for you to immerse yourself by exploring cutting-edge technologies, innovative solutions, and game-changing ideas driving the manufacturing industry forward. The summit promises to expand your horizons and transform your perspectives on what's possible. Our past show editions have witnessed around 800 delegates, 100 plus speakers, one planned visit, 9 thousand discussions, 50 plus individual presentations and 16 points. Witness the next year manufacturing like never before. Registrations are open. See the description for the registration link. That was it for this week's industrial updates. We will be back next week. For more updates, log on to www.pi-india.in. Thank you and have a nice day.